What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans and today we're decorating my planner for the week of July 4th. This is the dashboard layout and I am starting to use it over the next month or two or three for both my kind of family catch-all but then also social media stuff. You guys will see my if it's not up already, my Q3, my third quarter Franken planner setup where I explain kind of how I'm going to use this. Today we're decorating it so you can see how this is going to play out. Now, because it is the 4th of July here, I am for sure decorating in honor of my country. I am an American and I love my country. I know that the world is not perfect and I know that there is a sinful nature about us and there is no place that is perfect, but I... I am happy to be here. I'm uh, proud of my home and I'm excited to play around with some blues and reds today, but it's going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to do, this is, bear with me here, you guys. I'm going to do a patriotic <laughs> uh, Mickey spread with some interesting elements. <laughs> so my plan is to basically stick with the indigo sticker books from uh, the Disney collab and then throw in some deep red in here and then I've got some stripes to add some texture. So that is what we're doing today. Let's go ahead and get started. I kind of already have a vision for the dates so far so I think I want to start there just so that will kind of lay the foundation. So I like to decoratively date my planners, even if they're already dated. I just feel like it makes everything so much more cohesive. And I just had this idea of, because I scribbled some color underneath some dating stickers a week or so ago, and I enjoyed that, I wanna do something kind of like that again. So I'm gonna take this Tombow 847, it's a red color, and I did swatch it and it's a deeper kind of blue based red, which I thought would be nice. So I'm just gonna, oh, makes me nervous. Just gonna do something like that on each of these. Bear, bear with me here and I'm hoping, I don't know how these are gonna bleed. Actually, they didn't. There might be a little ghosting if I lift up the paper, but it's not bad. So I'm actually very relieved to see that. So we're gonna do this. And then however this looks will help kind of dictate what I do over here. So my thought was this, the red for this spread is going to come entirely from this pen. No other stickers are going to be red, at least for now. And then the next thing I wanted to do because I wanna add texture is to add some of this washi kind of underneath it. And then we'll put the date right in the middle. So I like doing things in clusters of three and normally I am all about ripping but because like ripping uh, the raw edge off but because this is such a thin washi I'm, I'm gonna skip that this time and just see how it looks so I'm just adding a little bit of texture this washi tape is from goat girl goodies on Etsy. So I've gotten so much washi from her and she has hundreds of washi in her shop. Oh my gosh, did I lose that? I lost it. Where's the edge? So if you're looking for some kind of washi, like you're looking for something specific, maybe go like check her out first just to see what she has. Um, yeah, you just, you never know. Okay, let's move this guy out of the way because we are fully focused on dating. And I want to use boxes, I think. These could work. So they do say important reminder and happy plans, but I can cut those off and, and I get kind of a good variety of color. So let's do it. Let's just go for it. So I'm gonna take this guy and trim off that and drop that here. And then let's just kind of vary the colors a bit. So we'll do cut this guy, 
I never stick with, I shouldn't say never, I rarely feel stuck with boxes like this where they have little headers kind of pre-printed. I never feel like I'm like required to use those. And so I would just recommend, that one might be a little light, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. So I would say if you see a sticker and you know you'll never use it because of the header, just cut the header off. Cut the header off and make it work. I probably could have done a little bit more red, but yeah, I'm kind of wishing I did a little bit more red, but we're figuring this out as we go. I could add, because I'm trying to cover up what's pre-printed pre on there. Hmm. I think we'll be okay. Let's do the cream color guy. This could work though. I do wish there was a, like the red isn't popping out that much there. That or it's crooked. I think it might be crooked. Uh oh. We're gonna be okay. Nope, we're gonna leave it. All right, and then let's do the dark, darker blue one more time. Right here. All right, see how it kind of looks patriotic, but it's not like over the top. It's uh, it's neutral. It's like a neutral Americana. And I think because this washi looks a little, let me show you, looks a little like vintage-y. It's got, it's got a nice tone to it. Okay, so I have the classic size indigo. Let's move this out of the way. We'll add the dates um, and days of the week later. Let's move that out of the way. I have the classic size and then I have the large. I love a large sticker. And I am very tempted to use a large sticker. I also am tempted to use a quote having to do with dreaming because if America is known for anything, I hope that it is known for the quote American dream or the um, the the pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness. And to me, that's the American dream. Do we fail at that dream often? Yeah, but um, with that perspective as an anchor, uh, I, I am inspired. And so I want to use that Chase Your Dreams Dream Big. So I don't think I want silver foil on here. So let's see if we can see if there's any other quotes about dreams. Plan your dreams. Never stop dreaming. That's what I want. Never stop dreaming. That is very American. Okay, so dream big. Oh, this is hard. The other thing I want to figure out is do I mimic what we've done here with these guys? Or do we grab some boxes? I think there were some long boxes in here. So I could do like a double tall. Where is it? There was a check it off. I thought I saw a check it off one in this book. There it is. Well, no, that's not what I was thinking. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Check it off. So if I wanted to add more indigo, I could do that. But I think I want like a little bit of Disney, but mostly this vintage -y vibe. So I'm going to go ahead and mimic what I've done here with these headers because I know that these sections are going to stay functional. I'm not going to add really any decor up here and I'm going to have to sacrifice a bullet and that's okay and one of the boxes and I think that's okay. And we'll just do the same thing on this page a little consistency. Man, this washi is throwing me for a loop. There we go. Oh, uh, Josh and I still have not decided what we're doing for the fourth. And usually when we haven't decided, we, if we wanna do something special, we <laughs> order takeout. Order takeout and stay home. That's like what we do. Let's go and grab those boxes again. I can 
find them. Ooh, th those would work too, but I want to I want to be more consistent. So we need to find There we go. We have two left. Wow, well that ended up perfect. A light blue and that really light khaki color. That's okay. And we'll just go right there. So I am curious to know what y'all are doing for the 4th. It's a good time to barbecue, good time to spend time with family. We don't have any family in the area, so that's not really... I mean, we'll occasionally get like invited to do stuff with folks, but yeah, we really don't have a big community here. So we'll probably fly. Fly solo. All right, so there are my headers. I, for using this for both my home life and social media, let me just pause for a moment and tell you how I'm going to use it this week because that dictates how I categorize my headers. So if I'm using this for both home and social media, this area is going to be specifically for just kind of writing out uh, like what happened in the day and anything that specifically has to happen on a specific day. So this is going to be home related. This section up here is where I'm going to log my posts, my social media posts. It has prompts for Monday through Sunday so I can just write in what I posted for each day. I'm going to use this section over here for my family related, home related to do's for the week and this for my social media related to do's for the week. I like having a place to log social media stats and because this is going to be my to do's I think this will probably kind of fall I'll look at this as a column and this will be where I log my social media stats um I can also maybe I'll probably yeah I'll probably do decor over here maybe a little bit of decor down here and just some additional notes and that's pretty much it we're going to keep it simple so because I know I'm going to do some I think I'll do boxes over here like uh, for my social media stats. I'm gonna wipe this out with my Uniball pen. It's my favorite. And I'm actually gonna do the same thing here because I'm not confident I'll have stickers covering this up even if they're decorative. It might be clear. I'm not quite sure. And then I need to figure out a place for my quote. I do want to have a big quote, so I'm going to move this guy out of the way again, go back over here, and then dreams. And I like the idea of dreams, like a dream sticker, a dream theme for both the 4th of July and because this is going to be for social media. I, I have a lot of dreams that are not fully thought out, but if I could just... If I could make a living hanging out with you guys, I know a lot of people wish they could do that, but if I could, if I could make a living hanging out with you guys, making your day better, showing you products and stuff, I would just be, I would be such a happy, happy camper. Okay, so none of these, I think it was the small one that had the dream sticker. I'm sorry you guys spend so much time. Oh, there's the dream big. And then I like the Minnie and Mickey ones where they're sitting. So maybe I can have them sitting on top of the quote. I like that the stickers in here, the colors match. So this kind of khaki looking box matches this, this guy right here. So I'm going to I'm going to white out part of this line and that is where I'm going to put the never stop dreaming sticker and I'm going to try and have it be as straight as possible like so and 
I'm gonna let that sit before I use my bone to flatten things out. I think I'll also, I wonder, I always go, wanna put Mickey down instead of Minnie, but there's a Minnie where she's sitting. I wonder if there is a, I could have him standing. I like that he's presenting. Like I like this posture, but I feel like when I'm looking at my planner spread, I want everything for some reason to go inward. And with him going like this, he's facing that way. I know it's a weird perspective, but y'all, I think about this kind of stuff. I really do. Now we could go like that. Okay, I'm gonna sacrifice a sticker for a second and we're gonna play. I'm just curious. If I lay a wash of color down and I throw, ooh, okay, so I just said I'm not, I don't often do mini stuff. So we'll sacrifice a mini. It might be kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, she'd kind of have to, or he would have to, I'd have to line it up so that, all right. We're playing, friends, we're playing. I'd have to line it up so that the face, we're gonna sacrifice another one. We'd have to layer it so that the face is not. Ooh, look at that. That's an interesting idea. What if the pen, is that, aren't his shorts Aren't his shorts red? <gasps> his shorts are red. Okay. This is what happens, friends. <laughs> what if, how could I perfectly get his shorts red underneath? Oh, man. Aren't his shorts red? Now I'm second guessing myself. I need to find another, is it his shorts or his shoes? His shorts, his shorts are red, his shoes are yellow. And I'm pretty sure, here, let's, since we already have this, I'm pretty sure you can't, if I were to do on top, yeah, it's just gonna smudgy smudge. Oh my goodness. So I'm kind of loving the idea of throwing him down I guess I could do that. I really prefer this posturing. If I did this, then he'd be kind of presenting my social media stats for the week, which could be nice. Like he's like, ta-da. Oh man. Decisions. Oh my gosh. I'm a little scared. I'm pretty certain I wanna put red underneath his shorts. There's not a great way to <laughs> trace him. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh man. Let me grab, I grab a pencil? This, this is gonna slow me down. I just know it is. This, one moment of play is going to, it's gonna slow me down. So if he's around here, I mean, we're kind of looking. I could just do a circle of red. That is a little bug, circle of red. And then I just have to line him up. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna do it. <sighs> I'm like sweating right now. Mm. Oh my goodness. We did it. Oh my goodness. I'm like nervous, y'all. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. I'm like scared. All right. I need to go a little bit lower for these shorts. A little bit lower. Oh my goodness. I think I did it. I don't love his placement because his tail is kind of draping over the dreaming or the D. But I did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Scary. It's not perfect, but that's okay. Wow, that was stressful, but stressful for me, but also kind of fun. Not going to lie, I kind of enjoyed that. Woofta. Okay, never stop dreaming. I wish that this were a little bit bolder of a color, but I think that's okay. So I want to add some boxes here. So let's go back and see what kind of boxes would I want. Probably want to stick with the colors I've already used so maybe this guy and this guy and I can just trim the uh, headers off so let's go ahead and do that I'm really thankful that the way they've designed these monthlies is you can cut this off and you have you know pretty much a perfect perfect box and I do want to add some more color and texture So, and I could go kind of whims, whimsical in the placement. Let's take out the rest of this line and maybe we just really use up this whole space for the, the extra boxes. So, but I do want to add some red. So if I went like, uh-oh, let's make sure I don't touch, touch the paper. So because this khaki color is here, guys, don't put the khaki right next to it. Keep the, keep the blue closer. So we want to go, I do want to make them wonky, maybe like that. And then... Add some, I'm gonna add some red. Oh! This makes me so nervous. <laughs> Should we go a little bit further out? Let's go a little bit further out. And let's add some washi. This might be harder because the uh, this, this stuff isn't going to be um, straight. So I'll just rip a couple pieces first. I could use them. Ooh, that's what I'll do. I'll use them to frame. Let's do that. So I'm going to put one right here and put one right here and then might need to be a little bit smaller ooh I want it to be thinner too so I'm going to cut this in half and go like that I wonder if there's, let's use a longer one for the top. We'll cut this in half. So I know that the styling of this washi is different than how we've done it on the other pieces. That's a little bit too long. But it does add a little zhuzh 
to it. Do we want to do them on all the corners? I kind of don't think so. I think we just leave it like that. And then I think I want to add a little bit more. See if I can do this without making it look too different. It looks different. We'll just that texture is a little bit different. Ooh. We need more broad strokes. Mm. That is definitely different. Oh, I wish I hadn't done that. But you know what? We live and learn, don't we? Let's see if I can do some bigger, some bigger swatches so it looks a little more cohesive. Uh, this is one of those moments where less is more but then you're just tempted to keep going. <laughs> I do not like that one bit. And I'm not really sure how to fix it. Not sure. Hmm. Are you guys like, stop, Elizabeth, stop? Because that's what I'm saying to myself right now. I'm saying it too. I'm saying it too. All right. It's a little avant-garde, but we're going to, we're going to leave it. Okay. So let's see how things are looking next to each other. Oh my goodness. This is a disaster. The other thing that you can do if you want to play with Tombos like this is let's go back to our scratchy scratch paper. If you have like a watercolor pen like this, I don't know if there's any water in here, but you can kind of blend it out if the ink were um, fresh, freshly wet, but I know that th that's gonna create a disaster. So we're gonna leave it like that, even though it looks super messy. And I think I want to I'll need to do something up here. I also feel like I need a little something here. I don't know what's going to be in this box, but we're gonna go ahead and add a header box. Maybe I'll just put the word like notes in it or something, just so that we've got some consistency. And I know we're out of boxes like this, so I'm gonna have to use, I'm not super excited to do this, but I'm gonna use this unless I can find, well, I can use one with a star. Oops. And what color? Maybe we'll do the light blue. Uh, but then we've got the issue with the focus on. All right, let's see if I can lift this guy and do something like that. That'll at least cover the focus on. Okay, so we've got that done. I do want to put, I feel like it needs a little decorative something down here. Don't necessarily want to do another quote, and I'm not sure I should do another Mickey. So maybe, maybe there's a good Minnie. What color is Minnie's bow? Is Minnie's bow red? It is sometimes. 
Do we do the same thing? We try to color her bow. Oh, it seems so dodgy. I think those stickers are gonna be way too big. Let's stick with the, so, you know, I don't think I'm gonna use anything from the large Indigo sticker book. I think it's, uh, I think they're too large for what I want to accomplish today. All right, I think we should go with mini, and maybe because oh, I kind of like her on the, like if I put her sitting on a box, so I could find a good, simple box. Let's do that, let's find a good box, and I'll just add an extra little box. Um, we could just go with something like this. I don't know what's gonna go in it, <clears throat> excuse me, but this will at least give me some, some balance here. So we're gonna put that there and then and she's looking up at her bow. Do I try to do the bow? You guys, I think I could. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, we're gonna, we're going for it. We are going for it. Okay, that looks almost. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't don't lie down yet. We want to do a little more here and a little more there. Good enough. Good enough. I'm glad I added a little bit of red to Minnie and Mickey because I do feel like it helps kind of substantiate the uh, the vibes. Now I've got all these little strippy strips. So I'm just gonna add a little piece right there of that washi. And so we've got to date and I need to do a, um, a header for that guy so let's go back through and let's see maybe there's a header that I don't need to rewrite that would work let's see oh good there are some of these guys so maybe I just grab Color. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and follow suit with what we've been doing. Do a little bit of that and a piece of this. How are we doing on time, friends? I've been so aware of how long it takes me to decorate lately. Y'all have been so sweet though, like not getting mad at me for how long I take, which I very much appreciate. But I think I'll still always, we need more red. We're not gonna be able to see it all unless I center and do something a little different. Maybe I center. Let's just center. Although I feel like, oh no. I feel like if I center, I need a little residual.
like so. Oh boy, I don't like that one bit. Not one bit, friends. I'm gonna do something a little nutso. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see. I wanna see the... That color is very bright. But I knew I had these skinny guys, really skinny guys. That totally changes the vibes. I want a skinny sticker like this. I could cut one. Let's go back to, let's go back to this guy. So we do have two of these. If I didn't just destroy Let's go ahead and just let's make two stick let's let's make one sticker out of two stickers so i'm gonna go here with this one and then let's see if i can line this up all right be a little wonky. It's a little wonky. Actually, it's a lot wonky. <laughs> it's a lot wonky, but we're going to be okay with it. All right, let's see how this comes together with dating. I grabbed the Date It sticker book from Mojo Jojo Plans. So we will start there and I'm going to use these chunky monkey fonts. And I think I'm going to use paper because paper's easier and I just have to pick my font size. I think I'm going to use the smaller font because we still have to have room for the dates. So I love how close the cut is on these. I just think it's so awesome. Now do I go funky? I always go funky. I always put things on seams. Have you guys noticed that? inside or seam we're gonna go inside because I think the the dates the numbers themselves maybe I can put on the seams so Tuesday I love this sticker book I really do it is most excellent this is from mojo jojo plans who has been killing the functional functional sticker book game. I haven't collected all of her colorful boxes books just because it's so many boxes. And at the end of the day, I go hard on black boxes. So I didn't necessarily need um, every color of the rainbow of boxes, but she's got a, wow, this is really bad. She's got a, yeah, I think we're gonna, maybe we'll layer that way. Let's do that, we'll do it in the corner. She's releasing the sticker books individually from that rain, her rainbow collection and I, while I love the idea of a bundle, like a collection bundle, just for, I don't know, collection purposes, but also just like, I don't know, it looks nice on a shelf. I am very, very much focused on just the Black Boxes book, the new one. And what I like about the new one is that it's got black boxes and it has dates in it. So if you have not seen that yet, she's teased it on her social media accounts. All right, see, I feel like once you start like putting things down, it, it makes a huge difference. Now, because we used this font here, I want to use the same font and redate the June, July. Wait, June, July. Why 
is it June, July? I don't know, friends. <laughs> Maybe one of my, uh, my Franken planning pages got a little mixed up. That's okay. All right, so we want just July, and that's gonna be hard to cover. So, I'm gonna have to use this guy. I'll just pop him down right there. It's coming together. I actually like the way that it looks. If I don't go like too detailed into this area, like just ignore that area and we'll be fine. So, now we just need do I use pen or do I look for stickers? Uh, let me see for a second. What do I have? Is this my, these are my icons. I do have social media icons. Hmm. Don't you like my little period pads? They're so cute. I have zero use for them right now, but still cute. Okay. I think I will just use a pen and hope it's not too sloppy looking. I like to have my fonts match whenever possible. Oh, but then I also have these. These are the week. Hmm, content. These were made for me by my friend Jill of All Plans. Jill of All Plans on Instagram. The font does not match, but Hmm. We'll just go in the middle. And then, is there one? Let's see. Followers, IG. Okay, so I have IG and YouTube. You know what? Let's go ahead and just stay, maybe on this side, the font is just going to look like this. So, we will put IG. followers and then over here we'll do YouTube followers like so so IG followers YouTube followers and then maybe this is notes. I'm going to cover up the star because I actually don't, it doesn't really match. So we'll do notes there. And then how about remember? And we'll put this kind of layered over the washi. And then we need something that will account for home to do's. Plans maybe? She gave me such good, such good little stickers. We'll just do plans right in the middle. Okay. Oh, and then, oh, posts. Let's do, well, we have room for Instagram and YouTube on here. So if I did, let's see if we can do this straight. IG and YouTube and then posts. Will this fit okay? YouTube posts. I think I want to space this out a little bit more. 
The fonts are different, but honestly, I actually think it's okay because they're consi kind of consistent, like with the exception of what I'm doing up here. This side has mostly Jill stickers and then this side has has the Mojo Jojo Plan stickers. Okay, let's see where we're at. I need to add a plus sign. Do we wanna call it good? I kinda think we wanna call it good. Let's see, maybe we can cover this up and add like a 22. like July 2022 sure then we're gonna call it good because I think this video has gone on way too long let's see what this looks like on discs folks 22 is a little bit bigger a little bit bigger than the July but let me grab a notebook This looks it is different that is for certain there are elements of this I do not like <laughs> uh, but we tend to be our worst critics right all right friends I think we're done I've created what I think will be a successful functional spread for me this week I've got plans that are home related here the content planning here I can track my social media stats here, any notes I wanna throw down, anything I wanna remember. I log my posts here for the week, and then this is all just home to-dos specific for each day of the week. I think this totally works, and it's very much red, white, and blue for Independence Day, but isn't, you know, totally, like, over the top. It's very, it's very clean, so I, I'm liking it and never stop dreaming, I think is really cute too. Do we wanna add anything over here? Um, let me see if there's any other quotes because I could put a quote down here. Let me check one more time, specifically for a small quote that is not, never stop dreaming, dream big. Would that be too much of dreams if I did the dream big? Let me just pull it off and let it hover. I actually think it might be okay. So I'm gonna throw it down right there. Yep. I think it adds a little bit more consistency with the spread or like balance, having a quote on both sides. Kind of makes me want to throw down maybe something up here. Because 2022 is here, and I put 22 here, let's put a Mickey head. Let's just put a Mickey head up there. Um, let me see if there's one on paper. Oh, there are ones on paper and they have that kind of cool cream cream color. We have a lot of cream. We have cream and then that navy, so maybe we do like blue. And just kind of throw it down. Can I get it to cover all of the 22? Uh, positively busy, magic is within, best day ever. Let me see if there is a bigger paper head. There's the clear ones. Clear ones are kind of cute. The clear ones are kind of cute. Like that one. I ended up not really using anything that's overly indigo. That wasn't on purpose. I could go with just a classic clear Mickey head. That would cover it. 
What do we think of that? It's clear though. So do we go with that? Oh, you know what? No, we don't do that because it's the same head. I can't do I can't do the same expression up here. I just can't do it. So let's see how would this fit? It would, it would fit. Let's angle this a little bit so I can see what I'm working with here and move my fingers out of the way. I knock this guy out and that line. I could do it. Let's just do it, just for a little. Do I want to add a little red underneath it? I'm tempted, but because I just put down that uh, correction tape, the color will be weird. So we'll just keep it, keep it clear underneath. All right, friends, now we are done. <laughs> but as always, I highly recommend, if you're not following me over on Instagram, please come hang out with us. Uh, I, oh, yeah, hold on. Let's see if I can lift this. I would very much like to see more of this popping out. That's better. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stop now. Come hang out with me over on Instagram. It's always a good time. It's also uh, where I post my final spread. So uh, if I turn the camera off and I make any changes, I will take a picture of the changed one. And what goes on my Instagram feed is the most up-to-date changed modified uh, spread. So <laughs> if you want to see how this turns out after the video, definitely come hang out with me over on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to hang out with me again, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I post a couple times every week and it's, yeah, we're having fun over here. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to dream big.